Because from my side, I start with the uh, delivery gas. You know this gas delivery? I start with that job in, in Dubai here. And the salary was only 800 dirhams. Then I start with that. I start with that. Then after I stop the job, I go for stewarding. Two years I'm doing stewarding in Mall of Emirates as a steward. And I'm doing spirit duties. I'm coming morning from 12, from morning 8 o'clock to 12 o'clock. Then 12, I have to go home. By 5 o'clock, I have to come back.
What's your good name? Fatri Jack. Where are you from? I'm from Gambia. I was a travel consultant, but now working in administration. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, today we're so excited uh, that we have a Gambian who now has a travel agency, right? So we're celebrating with him. Uh, what do you have to say about uh, this great event? Anyway, it's a bit great privilege yeah. to have a Gambian owned travel agency. Okay. And also, I'm very proud of him. Okay. Um, the only thing I'm urging is uh, urging, um, him um, is not to be discouraged. The feel is not an e easy feel. There are a lot of commotions, though, especially now that the new law, uh, the new visa law has been implemented, and so all with this visa chaos happening around. Yeah. But then I will, like, I'll be encouraging him to just like move forward and then keep it up. My name is Zainab Konate. Uh, where are you from? The Gambia. It seems there's only Gambians that are here today. Uh, well, we have to come and support a uh, Gambian brother, of course. Okay. Yeah. How do you feel having a Gambian owner company here in Dubai and a travel company precisely? Yeah, we're, first of all, we're very proud that it's Gambian owned mm -hmm. and we're very happy that at least there's a Gambian brother that took up the initiative to start something. At least we know that we have somewhere to fall back to, somewhere, someone that we can go to when we need any advice or any help. You know, we, we're, we're just proud that we have someone that's Gambian, that's representing Gambia in this field. What challenges do you think Gambians were having making visas come into Dubai? Um, actually, um, with, the, with the cost, especially with, with the challenges we're having, especially with the cost. Because people were charging a lot of money. Okay. And then we only know, like, knew about few agents that were like travel consultant. Uh, for me, I was a tra I'm a travel consultant okay. before, like for 10 years. Okay. But now I'm not a travel consultant. Okay. The, before, people were charging a lot of money. Okay. And then when they come to Dubai, they realize that the cost was way less than what we were charging in Gambia. And some were issued one month visa or even fake visas. Okay. I have a case like that before. Okay. Yeah. So those are the challenge people are. and also for I think I think most of it and it's just the cost. Okay. And the fake agents. Okay. Well, I haven't been here for a long time, like some of the OGs, like Mr. Kambi, Fat Jack and others. But with the little experience that I have, I do know that we, we've been facing that problem with not having anyone else to talk to, not having anyone to consult directly, because I think some people did not have any experience or they're just not in the field or having the right mindset towards um, advising people when, with relations to this visa issue. But now we have this office, it's here, it's licensed, it's legit. How do you think uh, this is going to go for Gambians? Um, it, will be very, it, will, it will be a very good opportunity because at least we will have a Gambian that is on the ground that will be issuing valid visas and also valid tickets to, uh, to Gambians. Okay. So working with this company, what do you think is going to be the difference for uh, a lot of Gambians who are presently here in Dubai and, uh, or in UAE? What do you think that this company will be able to achieve within the shortest period of time? Okay, well, um, uh, the belief I have is, first of all, it's a good initiative okay. because actually it's a Gambian owned and working with your own people, the environment will be much more flexible, much more conducive and the results or expectation results will be higher because you are at the environment we are in, you are with your own people, you're depending on them and they also will be depending on you with regards to transparency and uh, legality. Exactly. Uh, is this going to be just for Gambians or is it going to extend to other African countries? No, actually it's not only for Gambians, it's across all nationalities. Okay. okay. We are not be, um, solely based on our services for Gambians, but actually it's across the board for all nationalities. Oh. But actually it's a big platform also for we the Gambians, at least to have our own initiative, at least to see something that belongs to us, embrace it and at least try to see what we can do or achieve. My name is Samba Sose. Samba Sose. Yeah. yeah. Um, today we are celebrating a Gambian who has been able to make us proud as Africans. Uh, owning a travel agency in Dubai is one of the things that we have always looked forward to Africans having in Dubai. And uh, not only in Dubai, in the whole of UAE. As a Gambian owning this kind of uh, services, what would you say about 
it is a, a great joy to me because even I myself, I made my inbred cat with my wife. Okay. As a, he's my nephew okay. because he's a very trustworthy somebody. Okay. And the image people are circulating through social media. Most of people are lying. Sorry for the language, because why I'm saying that? Because every country, everywhere in the world, you have good people and bad people. If you fall to a wrong hand, always you categorize people as people, all people are the same. Why this is totally different? Definitely, this is a very good thing. You leave your country and develop some certain things in your in somebody's country is a very good achievement. If you cannot achieve that. You cannot do anything because if you leave your country you have a project so you have to respect that project and do something for that country and employ your fellow citizen because what this man brought here yeah. is not only for him it's all entire gambian people and all west african people yeah. because we are all west africans so we have to help each other and, uh, and upgrade him how you have to upgrade him because if you want to have your money into a very right position yeah. you have to go to the right people yeah. if you go to the wrong people you are the one who fold yourself into your own hand yeah. so let's try to not to analyze certain things which is very wrong if you go to your own hand that's your problem yeah, that's so really so this investment every good citizen of this of affairs Africa, everybody yeah. want to invest like this. Yeah. If you go to a country, do something which is very good for the whole nation and your image of your country and image of West Africa. Yeah. Because this man is selling the image of West Africa, not only what he's earning. This is a very good project. Let all of us with the West African people, let's emulate from him and see what can we do and progress. Yeah. Thank they you say, very they much. Say what, they yeah. say words of elders are words of wisdom. Uh, actually, my whole idea is that I love to share the experience of Africans living both home and abroad. So my idea is not about Nigeria or Gambia. Mm -hmm. or, sorry, I'm about the whole of Africa. I'm so proud to have a brother like this starting up this. So really appreciating you for coming to support him in the launch of this office. And we pray that this office will be a blessing to the whole of Africans. Thank you so much. Thank you to my brother. Thank you. Yeah. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Uh, my name is Mam Sambanjai from the Gambia, uh, the CEO of uh, Al Jawa Travel, Al Jawa Express Tourism. Okay, uh, I'm in this. I'm in this business for now five to six years. Uh, I was working for someone before. Uh, 2018 uh, in uh, Satwa called Mahan Tourism with uh, Zofika Ahmad. From there, 2019, uh, I decided to work with my one colleague called Hobson. He's a Ghanaian guy. We combined together and uh, make a travel, uh, make a lensing to have our own. Then uh, we worked together till last year. Still, no, till date we are working together. But I decided to take my own license to be not only Gambians, but I did it for all Africans because Africans are facing too much difficulties in terms of uh, visas or in terms of visa change and other things in this country. Because uh, this travel agency, not only Africans, are not Africans, Africans are not doing it too much. Uh, the majority of people who are doing it is the Pakistani and the Indian people. So very rare for you to see African to do this travel agency. So this one is for all Africans, Gambians, though I'm employing Gambians and other Africans. If anybody want to work or you want to come with us, our doors are open on my side. Uh, it's very hard. The challenges is too much. But uh, whatever you see in this life, is just like a, uh, just like a, I don't know how to say it again. It's just like a trust and hope. If you have intention that I want to do this, you will do it. So for so long, I was working with someone, 
as a partner, then I was having in my in the intention that I have to have my own travel agency to work for my own, rather than every month you have to share money with your uh, partner or doing this. Sometimes, you know, money is a problem. Sometimes you can uh, have a problem with your partner when you when this when you came for time of uh, sharing money, like you have to pay the the staffs, you pay the rent. Sometimes you sort you sort for money. So that's why I decided to do it for my own. So then I can work with my fellow Gambians and other African nationalities. Sometimes they scam the Gambi the Africans, charge them huge money for something which you know that the price didn't cost it because of what they think if you don't have it if you don't do it from them you don't know anywhere to do it again understand so that's why uh, the time we did this one is for all Africans although I'm doing all nationalities not only Africans we are doing all national all nationalities but we focus in Africans very well because in these other nationalities we the Africans can go to them but they will never come to us that's why we focus on Africans very well. Uh, for this one, I'm going to focus for everyone who want to job and who want to work with us and who is ready to work. But for as of now, I employ two of my Gambians, fellow Gambians. Then maybe in, uh, still now we are looking for staffs. If we see someone who have the experience and who is ready to work, we can also hire. Yeah, my advice to my fellow Africans is let us be honest whatever you are doing in this life you need to be honest if you want to achieve something tomorrow because uh, you cannot jump and build a house one day you must start you must have start with a foundation so like if you are at the market people are sending you money to buy goods for them just take the money and buy what they ask you your profit is your profit. If you take it, like today you put 10 dirhams, tomorrow you put 20 dirhams, day after tomorrow you put 30 dirhams, you will come to, to have whatever, uh, what you want to have. Okay. But uh, secondly, if you want to make a business here, you have to focus also. Like, you work hard and make uh, a plan of it so then you can achieve something tomorrow. Because for my side, I start with a delivery gas. You know this gas delivery? I start with that job in, in Dubai here. And the salary was only 800 dirhams. Then I start with that, I start with that. Then after I stop the job, I go for stewarding. Two years I'm doing stewarding in Mall of Emirates as a steward. And I'm doing spirit duties, I'm coming morning, from 12, from morning, 8 o'clock to 12 o'clock, then 12, I have to go home. By 5 o'clock, I have to come back. Understand? Then from there, I worked for two years before I met my boss who gave me this job. Then I was working with my boss as a, as a staff, but no salary. I was working as a commission base. Even my Emirates ID, He's the one who, who I give him like 4,500 to 5,000 dirhams, then he complete and make my Emirates ID. And with the, I was working without no salary. It was a commission base. Understand? So from there, today I, I have my own. Because of that time, this commission base, uh, my boss don't want to give me the salary. He asked me if you want to give, if you want to take commission base, you take. If you don't want to take commission base, then I cannot give you the job. I say, okay, no problem, I can take. Then I was working with the commission base. I go around the whole day for dropping flyers. Where's the flyer? Can you give me one flyer? Yeah. I was working the whole day giving, dropping these flyers from Mahan Star that time. Then sometimes I give Africans, they ignore me and they throw me, sometimes they insult me, but I just laugh. One time I remember one lady, I gave him this flyer, then he told me, bad word, my boss was standing outside the door. He told me, go for marketing. I just go, went outside the door, then I was giving the lady this thing. The lady take it and he throw, he insult me. She insult me. Then I was looking at that lady, even the Pakistani people passing, they want to tell me, just beat her. I said, no. Then I took back my flyer down, 
Then my boss tell me, Mohammed Samba, come. Then I came. He told me, go inside the office. Then he took 500 dirhams, he gave it to me. I say, why? He told me that this lady, what he did to you, what she did to you, if at all it was me, I will beat her. But you have patience. She told me, this 500, I give it to you. And starting from today, don't go for marketing. And I know you will achieve something in this job if you focus on it. Because you have patience and you are a hard worker. Thank you so much, sir. Um, this is a great pleasure to welcome you once again to one of our best memories ever as a Gambian in UAE. Um, honestly, we are so proud today that we are able to have a Gambian that is able to open a travel agency. Because um, we, that we are first timers here, we face a lot of challenges as Gambians or as Africans in this country. Because um, at first, you think, you know, even getting visa or for them to issue a visa for you is like a luxury. Or you have to go through a lot of um, hurdles for you to be able to um, secure a visa. But thank God that recently it's not very difficult. And um, again, like I said, we are so proud that our fellow Gambian, African, is doing this big thing. Because um, recently, um, all what we have is people say bad things about we that are here, and they don't even understand how we are here, how we struggle. Like he just explained to you his touching story. Uh, we all have a starting point, bro. Um, like I told you last time, we all have a starting point. Um, we all start from, you know, grass or from zero to hero now, you know, so this is a very, very happy moment that um, a fellow Gambian is able to do this big thing. And like he said, um, honesty, hard work is the key, really. If you are honest in anything that you are doing and, you know, you have trust in yourself and ha you are hard working, for real, for real, one day you will reap the benefit of your hard work and your honesty. So we're so proud of him, so, so proud of him and hoping to have more of this. Um, we are praying for it to be the beginning of more success for all the Gambians. Thank you so much and uh, we appreciate you also for joining us in this wonderful day.